Packers first and 10 of their 41. Good field position. There's nothing like it coming to Lambeau Field. It's the stuff I dreamed of as a kid going to a Packers game, that type of thing. Snap to Rodgers, looking. And all of us in this business are fans at heart. Do you ever find yourself in the booth, an opportunity to kind of step back and pinch yourself about the opportunity? Yeah, you know when I have that moment um, is when I walk in here and I'm on the catwalks and, and I look out and I see the tailgating that's going on on Sunday. That's my moment. That's early Sunday morning when you see the people out there, the anticipation for the game and everything else. That's really what it's all about. He's to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone, touchdown! You've been here for over 20 seasons. You've called over 300 games of yeah. the Packers. Is there one that stands out to you? Not one uh, in particular. Obviously, the Super Bowl stands out. How about a call? The end of the Super Bowl. That call, the end of the Super Bowl, probably is the more iconic uh, of them all. The title is back in town. The Green Bay Packers are world champions of football. And the title is back in town. That was just uh, such a great feeling. You know, that's where the fan in me came out, and it just, what a great feeling. They, they did win it all. I got a chance to broadcast a, a Packers Super Bowl championship, and that was, that's been the high point of my career. Snap Trubisky, hit as he throws, and it is intercepted. A lot of Packers fans, when they're listening to you, they're just waiting to hear the word dagger. <laughs> where did that come from? It came from basketball. <laughs> it did. Hi, everybody. I'm Wayne Larrabee. Welcome to Bulls Basketball. I did a lot of basketball in Chicago. Uh, we used to use the dagger when, it, you know, a team would score late in a ball game. And one day it came out here. After, as a matter of fact, I had a Bulls game the night before, and I was up here Sunday doing a Packers game against the uh, Ravens. And, you know, Bubba Franks caught a touchdown pass from Brett Favre. They gave him, I think, a three score lead. And I said, There's your dagger. And that, from then on, it just kind of took on a life of its own. For you to know that your voice is forever linked to some of the greatest Packers moments, how much pride do you take in that? I, I, that's, you know, that's something that I, I haven't really reflected on a whole lot, but it, 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 I do take pride in that. That's wonderful. Has time, throws left side, Devontae But White I'll tell you what I take pride in. I don't think this will ever happen again. I had a chance to broadcast a Chicago Bears Super Bowl championship and a Green Bay Packers Super Bowl championship. I don't think that's going to happen again. <laughs> Standing down the left sideline and heading out his way. How long do you see yourself doing this? Oh, I'm just uh, hanging around until I get Medicare. <laughs>